How are you? Hi, sir. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, my name is John. I'm calling from technical department regarding your computer, okay? So, I'm the same technician who fixed your computer last time. Do you remember me, sir? Mm, no. Okay, actually, sir, this is a very regular checkup call that your computer is working fine or not. That's why I'm calling you. So, you tell me your computer... Oh. Uh, well, we got disconnected. How can I help you today? Yeah, sorry. I had another scammer call. So, you called our helpline number. May I know the reason? Yeah, it's not like you're depressed. Want to talk about it? Pardon? I said, it's not like you're depressed. Do you want to talk about it? Sir, I'm telling you, how can I help you today? Is uh, Jacob there? So why you want to speak with Jacob? Because I can. Oh, hold on. Hello? Uh, so why hang up this call? I got so another this call. This is a very important call for you. So this is a very important call for you because sir, uh, there is uh, we are getting notification from your side. At least uh, since the last few weeks, we have been receiving some critical error reports and warning messages from your computer to the window universal server because sir, your computer is downloading some malicious data like malware and spyware from the internet and uh, it is corrupting the operating system of your computer. Do you have any idea about it, sir? Uh, okay, so there is a, I tell you uh, there is a software installed in your computer which is known as window error reporting tool. This software sends us error report whenever there is a problem in your computer. That's why I'm call you, calling you. So please go nearby your computer. I will show you and guide you what is the problem exactly going on in your computer. Okay. Okay. So are you the one nearby your computer. Leave your mouse, now your computer got connected. Can you see my cursor is moving here? Yeah, I see that. That I found on your computer, run dll32.exe and cube face. That is the thing which has been downloaded, which is causing a problem. Do you have any idea what is that? Let me check that. What is this? Can you see that? Oh, holy shit, look at all that. Are those bad? Yeah, that is the thing. Let me open so we can get some more information. What is this? I thought this is... And mostly for which purpose you use this computer? For personal or you do you do any kind of business work? Uh, more personal stuff, I guess. <laughs> so. Can you see what they're written on this file? Yeah. Can you understand? Yeah, yeah, I can read that language. It says program files VMware 9 device hard disk volume 2 program files VMware tools VMware tools.
where are you looking program file so what do we got so what what do we got to do what is this key So that's the program file you told me, right? What? Just one day. Let me scan the computer. We are using Windows 8.1. Okay. Do you have any security in your computer, sir? No. Oh, actually, yes, I have uh, Komodo. Komodo is the antivirus, and that is running fine. Do you have any other security which can protect your computer from hackers? Uh, Komodo apart does from Komodo. From the Komodo is the antivirus. It can protect your computer only from virus. It could not be able to protect your computers from hackers. What does this have running here? Well, how long does it take for this thing to finish here? You got. Hello? That is taking uh, five. Two to three minutes because here the infection is there, and you don't have a network security or anti hacking tools, that's why it is happening. Here you can see the result came up on very bottom on the black screen. Can you see that? Yeah, oh, look at that, no virus. Well, I mean, I'm good then, because there's no virus? No, there's no virus, okay, but there's the hacker is active. Oh. There's some foreign connection is established. Okay. Let me show you that connection. Look, there's no hacker either. Are you touching your mouse? No, I'm not anywhere near my mouse. Don't touch it. Here you can see that active connection. This is a local address, and these are the foreign address, which is established. Established. Okay. So 
So you don't have an anti-hacking tool, so that's why it is happening. Okay. So you need to get proper anti-hacking tools that will protect your computer from hackers. I gotta run the if you want, scan. I can suggest you. Which, if you want, I can suggest you which one will be better and how much it will cost you. Okay. That network security, you need to get it. That will cover your all devices. It will cost you a two hundred dollar for two years. Do you have a company website so I know who this is? And the lifetime will cost you four dollar. Hello? That you can get from any of the Walgreen, Walmart, okay. hey, CVS, yeah, right it. Which one will be closed? Do you have a website that I, I can look at? That we have a website as well. If you want, I can tell you. Hello. Yes, I know what company this is. Let me open my website here, okay? Okay. Where is it? You got it, my website? Yeah, I've only been asking five times. Yes, that 844, let me type here. Well, let me see if I can find it. Is it on here? Where is it? 844-586-2549. But it says right here, 408-490-1413. Which one is it? That is a billing team number, or the technician number will be 844-586-2549. Okay, but I was looking at that. Okay, my name is Michael. So which one you want for two year or lifetime? Which is better for you? Um, I guess lifetime. All right, let me... And it is not for particular device, it will cover your all devices. Okay. okay. And how would you like to make that payment, sir? Um, I guess through a card. It's a Visa, Master, which one? A Visa card.
Please type here your full name and address and email address on which we wa uh, you want confirmation email. Yes, full address with your zip code. That eight nine five zero one, right? Uh, yep. So you told me you have a card. That's a, a credit card or debit card? Yeah, that's a debit card. So total how many devices you have? One. This one. Do you have any iPhone or iPad which is connected with the same network? Mm, no. For the payment, sir, I will not suggest you to put any kind of banking information or credit card or debit card information over the computer, okay? Because that could be a problem because the people is active, they can take your card information. Oh, fine. So we don't want to take any risk with your banking, okay? Yeah, okay. I'm going to tell you the secure way where you can use your debit card information. Do you have any CVS or any Walgreen, Walmart? Yeah, I've got a Walmart. Okay. You can make that payment to the Walmart store. Please get a pen and paper. Okay. You need to visit to the Walmart and you need to get Walmart gift card of $400. Okay, I took the back the, store people the Walmart was closed. Yeah. I don't have a Walmart. You don't have a Walmart? No, I don't have anything near me. Walmart was the only thing. I think it closed. Oh, I've got Walmart or CVS. You can visit to the CVS as well. Don't got that either. Oh, Walgreen. Nope. Any kind of grocery store from where you can get it? No, I don't have. There's no stores near me. Walmart is the only one. How far this one? There's no stores for about a thousand miles. Sir, here I'm looking that. That is the address. Yeah. This one, 55S five five Bergen Street, Reno. From where you can get it. Okay, but that's just my P.O. box. That's not my actual address. Any of the grocery store, like, uh, give me one second. Give me another one. There, there's no one. grocery stores near me. I live out in the middle of the desert. There's no, there's no grocery stores. How about the address which I type here? No, it's nowhere near me. No, nope. th there's no in the grocery stores near me. 
these are the storage showing 0 0.5 miles 0 0.3 miles no there's no stores that is your real address where are you right now that is my PO box that's not my address you need to put that address where are you right now no I don't that's my PO box and that's what you can have Do you have a PayPal account? Yes. So we can make that payment with the help of PayPal over the computer. Okay. Alright. What is the last, uh, your long digit number of David card? Tell me the number. Over the phone? Yes, you can tell me over the phone. No, I'm not going to tell you over the phone. It's by recorded, so no, we can do it online. Don't you have a secure transaction page we can use? Yes, we can do it with the help of your PayPal. Okay, let's do it in front of me then. I'm not doing it over the phone. Sorry? Let's do it in front of me on the computer. Don't you have yes, like a I'm merchant? doing it uh, in your computer. I'm doing Don't you have like some sort of secure uh, payment gateway? I have the payment page. Uh, okay, that is secure, but we cannot open over your computer. Yes, because we can. Your computer secure connection will keep us protected. And, and, and well, see, you're connected to the computer, then the hackers can't connect. <laughs> Reverse camera. Are we going to open it? There are no Walmarts near me. Why can't we use a secure payment gateway? Payment gateway, I will not suggest you to put over the computer, sir. Because your network got compromised, so we don't want to take any risk with that. Whether you can visit to the any of the store, America, uh, Advanced America, any Walmart or CVS, then make that payment. Any of grocery store near from your home. I'm just going to finish. Or whether we can do over the computer, okay? Yes. I'm gonna open the page, the Walmart page. With the help of that, we will buy the security. No, we're not going to Walmart. There's no Walmart near me. You can use PayPal. Sir, you don't need to get it. You can pay by your PayPal. But over the computer, with the help of Walmart.com, we can process the payment. We don't need to use Walmart. We can use PayPal. Uh, you can use your PayPal as well. We don't need to use Walmart. Give me one second. Let me open a PayPal p page where you can. Don't you have a secure checkout, PayPal. like a secure checkout form? Whether you can tell me the card information, I can put it uh, from my system. No, you can put your secure checkout form on my system and we can put it out together where I can see it. No, I cannot put it yes, on you your can. computer well, not paid. because it's not secure. Because you want to know why you're not getting paid? Because, first of all, you lied to me about CMD. CMD does not scan for viruses. This is just listing the directories. As you can see, I clearly I erased... Did I say there's a virus, sir? Did I say there's a virus? Listen to what I'm telling you. There's no Listen virus to what I'm computer. telling you. There's a problem with that. No, icon. there is no problem with this machine. You called and claimed there's something wrong with my computer. Those files you showed me are are the prefetch files, those are driver files, those are not viruses. If there's coop face on this computer, show me where it is because you ran the dir slash s command which does not scan for viruses, all it does is list directories. As you were typing out your fake message, I erased it and put no virus on there to show how stupid the scam was. And you want me to buy a gift card? How stupid do you think people are, you idiot? 
Yes, you need to go to the store no, and no, get no, the no, gift no. card. Shut up. Just shut up. You're, you're, you're stupid. This is who I work for. You called the wrong person. You called the wrong person, my friend. Everything you just did was recorded. And you're currently being recorded right now with your voice and the, the virtual machine and everything. You're connected to a virtual machine right now. Your company's going to be right here on the front page. Stop. What is this? This is who I work for. You're working for this? Yeah, this is who I work for. I expose nasty bastards like you that like to steal people's money. And then you try putting a syskey on my computer? I got you recorded doing a federal crime. You're gonna try to put syskey on my computer then hold me up for money if I don't pay. Do you like stealing from old people and stealing from people? Do you wake up every day and enjoy stealing from people? Why are you just wasted my 20 minutes? Bitch, you, you called me. You called me. I can waste as time. much time so that way you're not scamming people. You called me. I did not call you. I wasted 20 minutes of your time so you can't scam people. I'm going to have this number reported and taken off. I'm going to have it disconnected. You can do whatever you want. You're connected to a virtual machine right now. And actually, I'm going to save this kind of physical computer. I think yeah, this would be good for good evidence here to keep and uh, copy this and put it on my physical machine here. There we go. You going to hang up now like a coward? Yeah, that's what I thought. The report. So anyway, if you ever get a call of somebody claiming that um, you have a virus or they've detected errors and warnings on your computer, it's just hang up, block the number, it's a scam. Um, when he went to CMD, uh, he typed out, uh, he was typing something, you can hear him typing, but as he was typing, I was pressing the backspace button, I typed out no virus, or no, I typed out caller zero two and no virus, that way when it finished it'd say no virus and leave him sitting there stunned and not know what to do. Then he lied about the uh, connections and uh, IP config, um, or Netstat, I'm sorry. He said those are hackers trying to connect. Those are the connections of his go-to assist connection. Those are not hackers. Um, the prefetch folders, those are normal driver folders. Uh, you can't, the reason why uh, nothing, a lot of weird text showed up when he opened up a notepad is because notepad can't read that. That's why it showed up like that. Those are not Trojans or viruses or anything like that. Uh, if anybody ever asked you to go, and this is any scam, anybody ever asked you to go and get a gift card to pay, um, you don't, you should hang up immediately. And when you're connected to one of these scammers, typically the most default way of kicking a scammer out is pressing the pause or break button. And something you want to keep in mind is if you're connected with somebody and you believe it's a scam or you think it's a scam or you know it's a scam, do not tell the scammer that you know or that you think it's a scam because scammers sometimes have different reactions like you I mean, just look at my videos when I tell them the scam. Some scammers try to assist key and things like that. The first thing you want to do is you want to press that pause break button on your keyboard. For most re remote services, that will work. If that doesn't work, um, you can try going into the program and kicking them out um, immediately, have whatever program it is. But most common tech support scam programs that these scammers use, you can press the pause break button. It'll kick them out, like log me in and go to assist and things like that. Um, but uh, that's really it for this video. Um, I'll leave the number in the description. Uh, don't call the number unless you're scam baiting. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.